I am going to be talking about the oxidation of aluminum. And soda cans or pop cans, depending on where you live, are made of aluminum. Now, aluminum is a lot more reactive than iron. But well, iron, when iron oxidizes, it rusts, the iron oxide flakes off and constantly exposes new fresh iron for further oxidation. Aluminum doesn't do that. When aluminum oxidizes, it forms a very, very hard coating that adheres to the aluminum. And so it actually protects the aluminum. In order to access it, we actually have to use mechanical means to remove the oxide layer and then it ends up uh, being exposed to air. And even as I'm saying this right now, the aluminum that was exposed is oxidizing in air. Now, that oxide layer is actually only stable under normal ambient conditions. If we put the aluminum into a fairly basic solution, which is what we have here, we will prevent that oxide from forming and see the reaction of, in this case, water with aluminum. Now, it would take me a while to scrape this down. I have one that I've already sanded down, and in the time it's taken me to actually talk, an oxide layer has formed. So I just want to rough it up just a tiny bit, and then we're going to put it in here. And what you should be able to see is bubbles forming around the can and bubbling up to the top. That is the reaction of aluminum with water. And we're just going to watch this and see what happens over time. Something happened. Sweet. So what happened? Is the So what has happened is the aluminum has been eaten away and what we find inside of the pop can is actually a plastic liner. <coughs> now that plastic liner fits the entire inside of this because <coughs> excuse me, the pop is actually acidic. So while we used a basic solution here to remove the aluminum from the outside, pop being acidic would actually eat away at the aluminum if it was in contact with it from the inside of the container. So they put a very thin plastic liner on the inside to prevent that from occurring. Now one thing I did here that you didn't see me do is I actually popped the top of the pop can prior to putting it in the solution. The reason for that is, of course, because pop is uh, under pressure because of the carbonation, which is also why it's acidic. And if you don't do that, you find out that you end up getting a blowout like this. And that sends pop all over the place uh, with an explosive decompression 
of the inside of the pop can. And here's the video of that actually occurring. Thank you. There is pop on my camera. That's bad. And it, there's pop everywhere, actually. If I go in here and pick it up, it has literally 